Hey Skirt Fam! So today we're going to do the traditional halter tutorial and I wanted to share a little bit with you about a very special lady. This skirt actually came from her online boutique. So Kathy Briner runs Kathy's Boho Closet. You can find her on Facebook and she is just so amazing. I have learned a lot about her over the past few weeks and just love this special lady. And I wanted to share about her along with this dress tutorial um, with our sari wrap skirts. So this is the traditional halter. And let me tell you, I struggled with this for a while. I had to watch a lot of other tutorials to figure it out myself. So hopefully we can make this easy um, for you guys today so you don't have to struggle as hard as I did. I almost gave up on it. Um, so this is the finished look. There's a couple of ways you can do the halter part. I twisted, you can tie knots, you can leave it um, less <clears throat> tight here and cover up more of the boobies. So there's some options here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and share with you a little bit about Kathy. So Kathy has been in women's ministry for over 25 years. Um, she's run a couple of nonprofits and recently in the last two years started a newer one because she moved and she wanted to um, you know, bring her new ministry to uh, her new place of living. So in Central Florida, there is a special program called Living Again Incorporated. So this is their website, livingagain.org, and it is a women's ministry for widows and single moms. How beautiful that these wonderful skirts that are helping um, women in other parts of, of the world have jobs and security, and now Kathy is using them um, to help women in Florida have that security. And just what a beautiful soul, what a beautiful way what we can give back. So proceeds to her skirt sales. Um, she has some other things, some jewelry and, and other whatnots in her boho closet. The proceeds go to help these women in Central Florida, these widows and single moms. So I just think that's so beautiful. So right, we're going to take um, our skirt. We're going to have the short side facing us, long side out behind us. And we're actually going to grab the edge of the short layer on each side. Now the tricky part on this wrap is I always thought like you had to bring up the whole short layer, but you actually kind of want it folded in in the back. So really most of this long layer is over the top. Okay, and there's kind of a couple of steps to this one. So you're gonna bring it up, cross it over, and really don't mess with it too much yet. Just go ahead and pull it up and tie it <clears throat> behind your neck. You can tie it loosely. I know this looks ridiculous right now. That's okay. So then you're going to kind of come in here, find the strap of the layer that's tucked in and go ahead and pull that out. And then you have the strap on the other side. You're going to pull that tight and centered. You kind of want this centered here. And you might have to adjust a little bit. Pull it up um, relatively high and you might tuck some of the skirt back down in the back. You might want it to billow over. There's, there's a couple options, but I'm kind of actually, I'm tucking mine back down under the waistband here. And then you're just gonna tie this behind your back, you know, just secure this part of the dress. Now, this particular skirt <clears throat> does not have any buttonholes in the waistband. And that doesn't matter with this skirt style or this dress style. So there's definitely options for those. Okay, so now we have it secured back here. I just tied a little bow, nothing too fancy. I can take the top down. Now there are options here. You can put a knot on either side. You can knot it and then tie it behind your neck. I'm just gonna twist. So I just take both sides and I twist towards the outside a little bit here. <clears throat> Okay, I had part of the skirt like caught up and it looked goofy, but anyway, so you twist it, make sure there's a cute little V in the middle. You can have a mirror over here, so I'm cheating to see how that looks here in the mirror. And then just tie it behind your neck, secure it. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a, like two loops. So I just looped it once and then basically gonna tie a little knot here. Okay, so there we go. And I have this cute little 
no frame around the bosom here. The back is pretty slow. It is a low cut um, dress style. If you're not comfortable going braless, a little tube top like I have, a bralette would look really cute. And there you have it. And it, once you tie the skirt this way, it's like, ah, that was so much easier than I thought. But for the longest time, I struggled with it. So if you guys struggle, the struggle is real and it just takes some practice. So I want to say a little bit more about Living Again Incorporated. So their mission for these women, these single moms and widows in Central Florida, is to create a community where widows and single moms will never stand alone again. And just how beautiful is that? That we're supporting other women that need help, that maybe are alone, and Kathy did this because she was a single mom and she realized how much that extra help meant to her. And now she gives this help to others. And the help may be social, emotional, financial, spiritual. They try to meet every need that's out there and just such a beautiful place. So check out her website. Again, that is livingagain.org. Check that out. See how you're helping these ladies. They do food. They do school supplies for their children. They have financial um, coaching and classes. And they're just helping these ladies. And it's so special. And what a wonderful way to give back by purchasing things from Kathy's Boho Closet and getting a beautiful item, but also having that heart for helping others. So, Kathy, thank you so much for what you do. I hope you ladies and other skirt family members love love this dress tutorial again one more look traditional halter love it i'm gonna go party on with my day you guys have a fabulous day and that's a wrap